What's going on, y'all? This is Low. This is Key. I'm real low key. So welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. <laughs> Where we talk about elevation, self-growth, and above all else, creation. What have you created today? Yes. Today, Monday. You know what I'm saying? Started a new week. Let's get it cracking. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna be talking about open house. Mm -hmm. You know, not in the sense of an open house like a real estate showing, but metaphorically like the house that you built. The house that you and your family built. The house that you and your spouse built. Right. You know what I'm saying? How is it ran? Does it have a structure? Right. Or is it just open for anybody to come in and out and give you their opinion like it is at a real estate showing? Mm -hmm. You know how the realtor there, people come in and out of the house and look all through every room and they talk about the house and what they like about it, what they don't like about it. Mm -hmm. Is your structure of how you run your household, how you operate in your relationship, is it an open house for other people's interpretation? Absolutely. Whether it's for your detriment or to help your relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like the damn house need to be closed. Absolutely. Your relationship, the way you run your family, your household, your marriage, Absolutely. It should not be an open door for anybody to come in with their damn opinions or their ideals mm -hmm. on how you should run your situation. Mm -hmm. Because what they feel is their truth it's true. could be your limitation. Absolutely. That don't mean that that's not true for them. Right. But that could mean your downfall. You know? What mm -hmm. you think, baby? I agree. That, um... Having an open door, open house, like, you, it's like open season. Open season. Anybody could come in and they could express their own truths about what you should be doing, about what you should have done, about what you should do in the future. Yeah. And it could very well be the destruction of your house, the destruction of your marriage, the destruction of relationships and business deals. It could be because you can carry that mentality and mess up the very thing that God is trying to get you to see, to be blessed, you yeah. know, to grow and to elevate. Um, I do. I look at truth as when someone is telling you something right when you first of all when you go and you tell someone something about a situation that you're having just know that you're opening the door to be influenced manipulated to literally destroy yourself okay yeah. So when you t and you tell it to the wrong person, that's the thing. You tell it to the wrong person, not to a psychologist, somebody that you feel like can help you, but to family members, to um, friends that aren't even never experienced what you're experiencing. You're venting when you should go to God. You should go within, within, right? So whenever someone is telling you, I learned whenever someone is telling you something, and that's their truth in the moment that's their truth in the moment right so i look at it i thought about it as if their source right source is god like that's where things come from so if they are the person that experienced an experience like what you're experiencing okay mm -hmm. in the moment that they're telling you that their source right all right it's up to you to understand what to do next right but if that's something if somebody said oh yeah i remember when this happened to such and such and girl i wouldn't do that or man you crazy i wouldn't let her treat me like that and if that happened to one of my friends that's farthest away from the truth and you shouldn't accept it right yep. so the more and more it goes farther and further down the line from source it's irrelevant right irrelevant so you have to close the door on any opinions. 
your opinion should be the only thing that matters. Therefore, if something goes wrong, you can say, well, that, you know, that was me. You Shit know, like that. I, I misunderstood. That was me. That was my opinion. And I'm sorry. Not, well, dang, I shouldn't have listened to such and such. I shouldn't have listened to the Kim or Tanya. I shouldn't have listened to Jerome, whoever, you know? Yeah. So you have to close the door. This is not an open house over here. We don't accept nothing, no opinions from nobody that, especially you would not trade places with that person. Boom. That's the major one. That's the major one. When you seek mentorship in the real life, when people pay for mentorship, they get the information and the knowledge from people. People pay for mentorship from people that doing better than them at that thing. Absolutely. So why would you seek the information of people who doing worse than you doing at a particular thing? Absolutely. That's like you having a million dollars, but you listening to the person who broke about something that got to do with finances. That's mm -hmm. exactly what you're doing. Absolutely. Say if you marry, you going to the person who was divorced three or four times and single, mm -hmm. seeking advice, uh, talking about your marriage, low-key seeking advice from the person who don't have the marriage or who lost the marriage. Absolutely. That's the same thing as you being rich and seeking advice from somebody who's poor like that doesn't make any sense that's like you seeking financial advice from somebody who's poor <laughs> that's exactly what you're doing that's it you know that's right so don't be an open house you know what i'm saying unless you want to lose the house straight up to somebody else Absolutely. Because that's what they have open houses for. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, somebody going to purchase the house. Right. right. Unless you want your house sold, unless you want your marriage sold, you know, ain't no open house. No open house. You got something else, man? That's it. I'm low. This is King. I'm real low key. Like, comment. And subscribe. Peace.